Okay, so when it comes to emailing your list every day, there are two schools of thought. Uh, some marketers will tell you to promote different products every day, and other marketers will tell you to promote just one product for a few days at a time. Both these strategies have their advantages and disadvantages. Okay, and I guess it all depends on your style of marketing, um, what your subscribers expect of you. But as for me, I am somewhere in between. I like to mix it up. I do not like to keep to just one strategy. As I mentioned in the previous video, I try not to be predictable to my list. Okay, so you have to find the right balance here. I'll leave it up to you. Um, I don't know what your list, what your business is like. I'll leave it up to you. Um, but let's just go through the advantages and disadvantages for both schools of thought. Okay, if you promote different products every day, well, that's great. There are people on your list that want a variety of products, um, content to learn from, and they may be looking forward every day to different products, you know, to find the right needs uh, and wants to the business. Maybe they'd want the hottest, the flavor of the day. Okay, on the downside, you may burn out your list um, and, you know, some people may get information overload. Uh, you're just promoting too many different things every day, things that contradict each other. For example, on Monday, you promote an SEO course. On Tuesday, you promote another traffic-related course um, that says, look, SEO is not good, it's too slow, you need fast traffic methods. So it may contradict uh, the product that you just promoted the day before. So again, you know, it all comes down to just common sense, finding the right balance, finding what you, your customers need, and and um, just finding what's right for your list, keeping your message consistent. Okay. Um, now, if you promote one product for a few days at a time, well, that's great also because as as you may may or may not be aware of, it does take uh, people an average of seven times to be exposed to an advertisement before they decide to buy something. And that's a general rule of thumb that you learn in the offline marketing world and in, in the online marketing world. So the same goes with email marketing. You know, if someone sees an email about a product, they may not buy it that first time. Sometimes you have to send them a few emails um, to educate them about that product and explain to them why they need that product uh, before they go ahead and invest their time and money uh, into buying that product. Okay, on the downside, um, you know, the disadvantage of promoting just one product for a few days at a time is that you may turn off some people, you know, like you're, you know, for example, I may promote something to my list for a few days, let's say it's on, let's just say it's on SEO, all right, and let's say you don't like SEO, and you might be thinking, why is this guy spending so much time um, promoting this thing? this SEO course down my throat. I do not like it. I'm going to unsubscribe from his list. Okay, so that's a downside. You may, you, may, you may be spending too much time promoting a particular product that some subscribers may not want. 